Freshman linebacker Zaire Franklin joins us now, and big smile on your face, my friend, ready to uh, go and hit somebody. Looks like like this week when Syracuse and Pittsburgh get together, this is kind of a linebacker game, right? Because yeah. you can get in the hole and hit somebody. Yeah, definitely, especially because uh, Pittsburgh is made on the other side of the state. You know, it's always a little Pittsburgh Philadelphia rivalry, yeah. so it's going to be a good time playing against those guys. And a lot of those guys from Philadelphia too, so I get to see a lot of my friends that play against them now play against in high school. So it's going to be a good time. Talking with Sean Hickey, he's about the only Western PA guy on the team. We we're talking about Permani Brothers. You've got a different kind of sandwich on your side of the state. Oh, of course, the cheese steak <laughs> from Pat's. Pat's cheese steaks, the best in, this, in the country, in the world. Yeah. <laughs> so Gino's just no love. You... No, Gino's is all flash. You got to go Pat's. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all flash. All flash is really uh, not applicable to this game in football because it's two programs really that for years and years have played a very physical style. Uh, is that something you embrace, uh, particularly going up against James Conner this week? Uh, definitely. It was uh, something that, you know, definitely intrigued me when I was getting recruited to both programs, honestly. Kind of, you know, they're smash mouth kind of football. You know, they don't, they're not really too fancy, not too pretty. It's going to line up and make you stop it. And I, I, like, I, I, I appreciate it about both, both Pitt and Syracuse's game. You're one of the players that has gotten extended playing time this year due to the many injuries that have been well chronicled, and it seems like you've really run with it. How do you feel about the way the year's unfolded for you? Um, well, unfortunately, you know, uh, we got a couple guys down in our room, Luke and Hodge, mm -hmm. you know, two great players. Um, but, you know, ever since camp, Coach Lee always told me, you know, you're one step. You're one step away from being a guy, especially when I moved the mic. He was like, you're one step away from running the show. Every week he told me, so he was like, so make sure you're ready. So uh, when Hodge got a little banged up against NC State, you know, he just slid me in. And it made them, like I showed, proved them that, you know, I was ready. And I've been working, you know, since camp to be prepared for that moment. So, you know, definitely just trying to stay ready and stay away from my opportunity when it finally came, just taking advantage of it. Yeah, and in this defense, it could be any play that you're firing through the hole on a blitz or something to really be in position to create a turnover or something like that. So uh, it's got to be exciting. Yeah, it's really exciting. I love playing for Coach Bulla and Coach Lee. they always going to put you in a opportunity to even make plays and it's all on us and we always try to come out top dog every week so that's what we fight for. Okay this particular game you line up against the ACC's leading rusher James Conner. I know you've heard the name a bunch this week 156 yards per game so he's leading the league by 20 yards a game. Uh, what have you noticed in your film study? Uh, that he's a very downhill runner. He, he's not a east and west kind of guy. He's going to get north and south on you real fast. He's very physical. I remember watching him play against BC and that was the first thing that stood out to me is how physical of a player he is. Uh, he's a great player. I know he was a really, really good player when he coming out of high school. I heard of him. So I knew he's, he's, he's very talented and we got our hands full this weekend. So hopefully we can stop him. Back then they thought he'd be maybe on your side of the ball, defensive end or defensive yeah, lineman and now he can run. I thought, didn't he play DN in the bowl game or something like that? I remember hearing yeah. about that when I was getting recruited or something. Yeah, last year's bowl game he ran for over 200 yards. That really brought him on the scene. He's run for 200 yards each of the last uh, two weeks. Last thing as it relates to him, the phrase downhill running, when he gets up uh, stream on you and, and is kind of uh, going with his shoulders uh, square uh, and, and heading up uh, gain in progress, what's most important for you to bring it down a guy like that? Uh, definitely just leverage all the ball, staying low on him. Uh, he's a big guy, but you know, so when he starts leaning, getting lower to him would definitely give me an advantage, and definitely just coming like bringing it. Uh, you watch him on film, and you can you can tell when a guy really wants to hit him, when a guy just trying to bring him down a little bit. And if you throw, if you come with any type of weakness, he's gonna make you pay for it. So definitely, when you come here with him, you got to bring it every time. So I can tell that look on your face. You like to hit people, which is which is <laughs> exciting. We're gonna see that unfold in the game this week. Last thing, just a thought about the the future. You've got two games remaining uh, for this year, and I know the team goals are not where they want to be for this season but what about using this as a springboard for those of you that are uh, underclassmen on the team going forward well definitely um we all talked about uh well specifically the seniors told us and you know we uh, as underclassmen really talked as a group uh, about you know usually you have bowl practice like the, that really helps bring along the underclassmen so we like we don't have that and they told us like look during a bye week it was like look you guys got three weeks <clears throat> Excuse me, and then you know, then they're out of here, and it was like, just make sure you take advantage of every practice, you know, every opportunity, every look, and you know, me for me personally, it's like you know, being closer to guys like Cam and Dyshawn than I was, you know, maybe throughout the year, and just getting every little piece of advice that they have, and help me out with like all the little things and defenses and things like that. Talking to guys like Kroom and like. Uh, Darius Kelly and people like that who are like on their last year eligibility who really know like the defense ins and out who can really help me out in it. So that's mainly what I try to do. And I know guys like Cordell, Aaron, and Jamal like have been trying to do the same thing.